Hey there, Amanda from The Happy Homestead. So today is the third video of this three-part series. This was all about what can you do with a gallon of milk? So in the first video, I made butter. Link above, you can check that out. And I didn't measure how much butter I got, but I did about a quart's worth of cream. And then, so I got butter, and then I got buttermilk which I still have to make something with biscuits or something with soon. Um, and then the second video was how to make mozzarella cheese. Link above. It turned out okay. <laughs> it tasted great. The process didn't quite go as I thought it would according to the directions. Um, so then when you make the mozzarella, you have a lot of whey left. And so that brings us to today. So I am going to make ricotta cheese with the whey. Now, typically ricotta cheese can be made with whole milk or is made with whole milk. And ricotta, I believe is the Italian word for recooked, right? So you're basically recooking, um, I think like the curds and the whey together to get that traditional whole milk ricotta cheese. But today we're doing it with whey. So it tends to yield a much smaller amount than if you were to do it with whole milk. Um, but again, I'm just trying to see what I can get out of a gallon of milk. Now, mind you, I did a quart's worth of cream, which actually came from two gallons of milk. And then the ricotta, I did the two gallons, right? So I'm actually doing two gallons worth, but still you could do it with one gallon and, and get the same results. Maybe not the same yield, but the same amount of products. Um, so yeah, we're going to make ricotta with the whey today. I've got that already in a pot. So it's left over from the mozzarella cheese making. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat that up to between 190, 195 degrees. And then I'm just going to start stirring around and I should see some fluffy clouds of ricotta curd, um, throughout the way. So this is again, first time doing it. This is not a how to, <laughs> this is how did it go? <laughs> so we're, that's what we're doing. I just want to make sure I clarify that sometimes I get comments about that on, on uh, YouTube, just to be sure I am no expert at anything, but I like to share the journey and share what I do know and, and share what I'm learning. So let's go to the stove and start getting this heated up. I'm looking a little ragged. I know that it is almost eight o'clock at night on a weeknight worked today. I just finished bathing my, feeding my children, making a dinner, feeding them, bathing them and getting them in bed. I hope they stay in bed while I'm, while I'm doing this. But it's just one of those days, right? Where you really have to use all hours of the day just to get things done that you want to do. I had to mention that. So here is the way it's pretty cold because it's been in the refrigerator, but it's got that beautiful kind of pale yellow color. There's probably a gallon, if not a gallon and a half of whey in here. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to find out. So um, I've got a ways to go to get this to 190, 195 degrees. So I'm just going to leave it on the stove here and um, keep checking it, keep stirring it. You do not want it to burn. Um, Every night at the witching hour, my cat does that. <laughs> Literally every night. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to stir it periodically so it doesn't burn. Um, but we're going to get this up to temperature. And then I'm going to do exactly what I'm doing now. Just kind of stirring through and hoping some white fluffy clouds show up. I honestly don't know if they will. But... Let's give it some time for this to come up to temperature and we'll see what happens. So it has been about 20 minutes, maybe. It's taken a while. My stove is on high. I am at 170 degrees, so I'm getting there. I hope I'm doing this right. I guess what I'm noticing though, as I'm stirring, is there are no curds. <laughs> Not a one. So I don't know if I really do need to get to that 190 degree mark. But I thought I'd give you the update that at 170 degrees, <laughs> there are no curds. 
Okay, y'all, we are at temperature. Trying to really stir so we don't um, get anything burning on the bottom, but yeah, we're between 195 and 200. So I'm there, I turned my heat off. Here's the kicker. I got no curds. Like, it don't look the way it's, oh wait, there is one. <laughs> Do you see that one? Oh, there is one. But that's hardly worth the effort, isn't it? Oh my goodness. So, I don't think this was a keeper, this particular recipe. Now, and this was not in my cheese making kit, so um, let it be known that I just found this online. This was not from the cheese making supply people. I have a lot of whey that I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. Yeah, I literally got no curds in this thing. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. But you know what? I tried it and I'm glad I tried it. And so now you don't have to try it <laughs> because you know it's not going to work as well. So I think if I were to make ricotta, don't know that I would, but if I were, I would do the whole milk recipe, right? Not it, not from whey. You just do it from whole milk. Um, and then uh, you'll probably have a lot more success. So yeah, this, I just keep stirring, thinking something will pop up, but it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so there you go. This was, this was the easiest one yet to film because nothing happened. Now, if I had had curds, I had this already. So I just had a bowl with a strainer and then I had some of that cheesecloth that came in my kit. And again, if you don't, if you didn't see the first two videos, go check them out. Um, and I talk a little bit about the kit that I purchased, but this is like that fine cheesecloth. And I was just going to scoop the curds out into the strainer with lined with the cheesecloth. Um, and then I was going to leave it there for about an hour just to make sure that I got as many of those curds as possible. And then you just put it in the fridge. So that's all I would have done had I received some curds. Again, I'm still stirring as if something's gonna show up. Wait, I ended my video too soon. <laughs> so I thought my ricotta making experience was a flop. I really did. And I knew that from my mozzarella not entirely matching up with the recipe that it may not be a success with the ricotta. But what I did was I took that whey off the stove, right? I think you saw that it was on the counter just cooling and I was spooning it to see if any curds had come up, but nothing had happened. And I had heated it to the right temperature. So I just left it on the counter to cool because I couldn't do anything with it at that point anyway. And I just went about, I made dinner, like went about everything else for my day. I can't remember if I made dinner or not or if it was at nighttime. It was a long day yesterday. But when I went to go like take care of it and figure out what I'm gonna do with it, look what I got. I got ricotta. <laughs> so as I was spooning it, it's pretty firm. It's not like what you would typically buy in the store. It's pretty firm. But when I was spooning it out and thinking like, okay, what am I gonna do with this now? I saw a bunch of curds. Now they hadn't floated to the top. They were all at the bottom. So if you had just looked in the pot, you would just like, oh, this is just way. But as I was spooning, I could see some. So I decided to strain it through and I used that cheese butter cloth um, with a strainer in a bowl. And I caught as much of those curds as I could. And so then I wrapped them up, right? So if this was my cheesecloth and this is my curd, obviously not in a Tupperware container. I basically wrapped it up and twisted it and kept it really tight and like, and in the strainer on top of the bowl and pressed down on it to really get as much whey and extra liquid out as possible. And so then I, I only did that for maybe an hour at max. And then I ended up with this beautiful cheese. It smells good. Um, I tasted some last night and it was pretty good. I have not added anything to it, 
but I'll add salt and herbs, maybe a little olive oil, um, and we'll use that for some sort of dish the next day or two. So it was not a total failure. <laughs> was actually really surprised um, so I just wanted to make sure you knew that too if you're expecting to see what I was expecting and it didn't happen and you get frustrated set it aside let it cool a little bit and see what happens you might be lucky like I was so yeah needed to let you know that all right stay healthy stay well see you next time